Let me see if this is working now. Okay, we got our, our tin tin ingot looks different now because I, I I now have version 18 of the mod 76.18, and this looks different. So maybe this will work now. Still very hot, which I guess is okay. Oh, see now I need different. It has different rules. So now it's not hit, hit, hit. It's punch, bend, draw. That looks more like it. So I have to bend it at least once. And I have to draw it at least once. And I have to punch it last. Punch. Ooh, I have to bend it, not last. I did bend it, though. What? Bend, draw, punch. There we go. Uh, oh, it's too far away now. Okay, so I need to move to the right. Why does it move it all the way over? Oh, a draw must be a really big hit. Yep, it's official. Version 76.19 of the mod, which just came out the other day, is bugged, and you can't make pickaxes in that version of the mod. And I rolled it back to version 76.18 of the mod, which I've been using the whole time up until recently, at least for the first two episodes. So let's try this again. So not all three hits, so it's a little bit harder now. So you have to do a bend and a draw, but not last. So punch has to be last, and punch moves it to the right. But we also know that the draw is a pretty big one. Yeah, we got it. Tin pickaxe head. Yeah, that's awesome. So hopefully that made sense. So we knew we knew we had what we had to do last. The bend and the draw were both big ones, so I had to do those two first, back and forth. And then you just had to end it up so the two were lining up perfectly. And you saw in my other um in my other attempts, when the ingot looked like it was still covered in a bucket, or in one of these, it should have worked. Because as soon as those two things line up perfectly, you get one of these. And the the better they line up, the more durability you have. Like if they're a little bit off, so you can see it comes with damage. If they're perfect, perfect, you get it undamaged. And I'm out of sticks. Anyway, we have our first pickaxe, which means we can start getting stone. And we can start getting the stuff to make lime water for leather working, which is amazing. Okay, so. That was confusing. I'm glad you were with me and it wasn't just going crazy. There we go. Now I'll have to do the same thing for the prospector's pick. But that can wait for another day. For now, let me just get some stone. Now when you mine these, you don't get cobblestone. I mentioned in another episode that the vanilla cobblestone does not really, um, doesn't really exist. Then which way do I want to go down? I guess this way. Here's my shovel. Oh, is there a roof under there? There's not a roof under there. So we should go maybe down here. There we go. Some place where we're not going to get everything falling on us. Also, what we want to do... Let's dig all this out. We need to get a piece of smooth stone. So I'm looking at this piece. If I get the, if I get this piece kind of floating in midair, it should just pop off. So that's what I'm aiming for now. I'm gonna have to break the bed to do that. But once that's completely floating in midair, let me take, maybe take the torch off first. Float. There we go. We got it. We got our rhyolite smooth stone. Let's go to bed with that victory in our hands. Our bed that's floating in midair. That is fantastic.
There we go. Now, I have one of these. It's just a regular smooth stone. So to get it into the smooth rhyolite... Oh, this is other stuff. Oh, oh metallurgy, and this is for making grain. Okay, to, to make this stuff, I think we need the chisel. So let me try out my chisel. I didn't make a chisel yet. I still have the chisel head. Okay, so we need probably the prospector's pick I would do first. And then do the chisel next. But <laughs> getting the pickaxe at least is a huge victory. You can see just how many episodes it took just to get a pickaxe. Any ores in here? No. Just gems. It's at this point that I would consider maybe making more of these and just keeping them full. Because the way it is, they've been empty most of the time because I've been doing other stuff. Uh, and charcoal we don't really need until we have a better blacksmithing setup. Like, smelting ores on the campfire is okay, but for other ores we'll need more complicated setups with bellows and a furnace, real furnace and a real anvil and all that. So I got a lot, to, a lot of work to do off screen before we can, I can show anything cool to you guys. So I need to get this stuff, flux. This is what I need for leather working. Oh, actually I was wrong. I was totally wrong. If that's true, if we can just smash it with the hammer. Oh, Rhyolite doesn't go. Okay, what kind of rock goes? Limestone rock, marble, dolomite. Okay, so, okay, I was kind of right. Only certain types of rock can be turned into flux. So Rhyolite doesn't work. Is Dacite gonna go? I might have to explore into another biome to make, to get the right kind. Will shale work? Maybe not. This is where, if you know about ge geology, you'd be like, hey, that makes sense, I suppose. Shale won't work. And that's all I really have. Shale, dacite, and rhyolite. I hope I'm saying those right. What we need is these softer ones. Chalk, limestone, marble, dolomite. I thought I had dolomite. Did I try that? Oh, dacite. Never mind. Okay, so we might need to explore for a different kind of rock before we can do this. So you actually, I was wrong. You can do leather working without a pickaxe at all. I thought you needed to get these guys and turn those, these blocks into flux. That's why I was looking at the recipes, but okay. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna probably end the episode here, it looks like. And on my own, I'll gather a bunch of rocks to get this flux. And with flux, we can turn buckets of water. Here we go. Okay, that's why I make mortar for making bricks. But here we go. Flux and water bucket makes lime water. So we need eight buck a bunch of buckets of lime water, probably eight, to fill this up. And then I'll fill this up with water. Fill up this up with water, put a log in it to make cannon. Once all these are full of the right kinds of water, I can start doing my leather working and making leather armor which will be fantastic. So thanks for watching guys, see you next. All right, we're doing awesome in Terra Firmacraft today. I've been exploring a whole bunch. I went out this way this time. Last time we went that way and found clay and a ravine and other, other stuff. This time I went over here. I found some granite, found some spruce trees, which I got a sapling for. They're a nice little dark wood. And I found some dolomite. So. To make lime water, we need flux, and flux can come from four different stones, chalk, dolomite, limestone, or marble. So I wanted to walk around and find these little stones on the ground that match one of those four types. So dolomite's the first one I found. So you just craft it together with a hammer, and then you do that, and then we get this lime water, which is what we need for leather working. So that's pretty awesome, a little bit tedious picking all these guys, but that's why I made a bunch of buckets. This is our spruce wood, the new color that we have, and I made these little tool racks out of spruce, so I can have a hole here right by my garden, 
found a whole bunch of new seeds. I got potato and bell peppers and carrots and some cool things going on there. And before I left, I sealed in this bucket full of water with a log, just a birch log. And now it's become tannin. It says what it is on the top. This is just water. And this is lime water. It's just not full yet. So leather working is going really, really well. It's almost good to go. Got my pickaxe safely stored in here. Tons of stuff in here to work with. I'm going to get into the whole granary section where you have to grind the grains and do the mills. Of course, we have more blacksmithing to do as well. And where's my hammer? There you are. Just so I can show you how that works. You just drop one by the hammer. You just smash it up into the flux. And this is used for a blacksmith thing as well later on. And you saw my beautiful stairs because I, I really wanted stairs in here. And so I was looking at, at here and it didn't have all the stairs for the new types of wood. But we can make birch stairs and we can make spruce, spruce stairs out of aspen. And this is from chestnut, not from kapok, which look like jungle trees. And the oak planks apparently aren't in the game anymore. And I was also, also looking up cobble to say, can we make cobblestone stairs? I don't know if we can get that regular cobble. There's, we can make cobblestone like this. Like I have a bunch of rhyolite stones. I have tons of these little guys. I could make it into cobblestone like this. But then you can't do anything with it. It looks like it's only for building. And I thought it had the properties like dirt where it would slip off. I'm not certain. Either way, let's get our hammer back on here. Also, I tried killing a killing cow with a bow and arrow, and it took about 10 shots, whereas the the javelin took it in three. So it seems like still, I thought they did similar damage, or the bow did more. Because I killed that spider in four or five bow shots. Maybe it's only animals take more from the javelin. I'm not sure. Either way, I got a set of tools out here all ready to go. And this is almost full. And then we can start our leather working. I've also been filling out my sluice channels every now and then. There's chicken living in there. Uh, just some gems in here. Still no metals yet. I filled it up a few times. Nothing yet, but it's a slow, slow process. I get more from just wandering around the um, around the world and just picking up stones. Like I got eight copper now. More castorate. That's the tin we used. So that's not bad. Not bad. I just need to keep filling it out. Like it's empty right now. I really should go and fill it out again to get it go because it empties out pretty quick. There, that one's full now. Great. So we have all three barrels full. We're all pretty much ready to start the leather working process now with this with this raw hide. So all we need to do is we there our lime water here and we put our raw hide in you don't have to do one at a time you can do however many you have so put those in oh and then you have to seal it and now we have to wait like a day or two or some number of hours who I should sleep before monsters start spawning and eventually that'll turn into soaked hide Ooh, and it's done already. Great. Um, oh yeah, and you can see that the amount of lime water went down a bit. So I'm not sure if it had to be full to begin with, but it does use it up every time you go. You might even use up one unit per item of hide. I'm not totally sure. Anyway, we realized we take our soaked hide, we scrape it with our knife, scrape hide, and then we need to soak it in water. Seal that off, and, that, and then that will do the next step. Now, this is why I wanted three barrels, because doing it, doing it in three different ones, you wouldn't really. You have to empty it out every time, and that's a big pain. So, I think that's the only step we need for the knife, and we can't just go to bed again. So, I guess I'll spend the day uh, filling up my sluice channels and chopping wood and then just get back to you to see if that is done. 
So the other thing I want to do is uh, I was gonna start milking copper into there, but I don't think I have enough. So I'll do that later. Okay. So we'll come back and check this out when it's done. You can see I'm just you just right click, and if it doesn't open, it's not done yet. So you just gotta wait. Here we go. We've got these topped up, well, mostly. Well, one other thing, I, f I found these apple, these green apple saplings, and when I planted them, they turned into this. So hopefully, I didn't do that wrong, but but they should grow. This is what the trees looked like, the original trees looked like as well, and just chopped the branches off uh, to get saplings. These are my spruce saplings that I got. There's tons and tons of different types of trees, so I've only have three so far. Well, three wood trees and one fruit tree. Those don't give you lumber. Actually, four, because I don't have any just to pop as well. So I have lots more wood to get. I want to get each type of... I want to get all these different types. You know, so white elm, white cedar. Oh, that looks beautiful. Nice white wood. Sycamore. I'd love to get some pink. What is it? Double sort. Hickory looks nice. That dark hickory. Yeah. Lots of different types of wood to get eventually. And then, I'm excited. We're going to make a full set of leather armor in which these four pieces are done cooking up. It's going to be fantastic. Actually, what I should do is bring some logs in here. So I took the hammer off the anvil, which means that it disappeared because that was just a temporary thing. I'm going to put gonna put a log pile down here because I'm always having to run out to get wood for my fireplaces. So this way I can I can have them all going at once. And don't worry, they won't catch my bed on fire or anything. And then I want to cook up these clay molds and also some food. Oh, I have more raw hide. I should have done all nine at once. Oh well. Maybe that wouldn't have worked. Oh, you can't, you can't, you can't shift click. So let's seal those off and see how much that uses. All right, so I got a nice little assembly line going. Awesome. Okay, so then we, and then we can light these up. Smelt our clay mold, smelt our meat. What else do I have to cook? I think that's about it. Oh, I got tons of beef. Cause I've been killing cows for their hide. Oh yeah, let me check out this cobblestone while we're here. Let's see, so the question I was asking earlier is, does it act like dirt? Like, does it, can you pillar up or does it cave in? It does not cave in. That's good to know. Of course I need my pickaxe to take down, but okay. So it's a, it's a good building material. So we can save on wood and start putting down, for example, cobble floors or cobblestone walls is great news because I need lots of wood still for my to get some charcoal charcoal for the next level of furnace all right I put these back so it's a little, a little bit crazy because for every one of these you mine you get like one or two stones so you need four to get a cobblestone but we still have our one of these so I think we need a chisel a, an iron chisel before we can turn this into anything the smooth stone because you can make like, actually, that's a good question. Does it tell us how to make an anvil? Is the vanilla anvil? Is there a stone anvil? Steel, wrought iron, no. Okay, so that's, you can, there's no stone anvil except for the one I was using. So this, and then I think that I looked this up earlier. Metallurgy table. Hmm. I should work on getting that too now that I have my pickaxe. I should farm up a bunch of this stuff. Is this done yet? It is! Alright, prepared hide. From here we don't need to scrape it again. You just put your scraped hide directly into the tannin. Oh, wait. We put our prepared hide right into the tannin. Yes, that's right. Seal that off, and we're good to go. And that's how you do it. Soon we'll have our full leather armor. For now, where's my 
shovel. Don't have one handy. Well, hmm, should I dig out down here? I'm not sure. I find I'm always forgetting to eat and <laughs> eat in this in this. I'm not sure why. Oh, I discovered something. So I started taking out this pillar and look at this. So it is, it is a little bit like dirt. Like if that was a pillar of dirt, it would actually fall off to the side. Actually, let me sew that just to compare them side by side. So dirt, you, dirt you can see can be a roof, which is great. It doesn't need any support. Dirt, we try to do this. It also falls off to the side. Um, cobblestone doesn't fall off to the side, but it does need something underneath it to support it. Which makes sense. So we really do need wood if you want to build like a roof. You can't have a cobblestone roof because that would just fall down. Cobblestone walls, it looks like, would be fine. For example, if we did that here. That might actually be a good strategy. And it's a nice little contract. Not the be most beautiful thing ever made in Minecraft. But it's effective. Do something like that. Oh, I'm all out of cobblestone. Ooh, I can make... Oh no, dolomite I need for the flux. We don't want to use up that for building. Oh, wait. We have shale, too. I got tons of shale. Not sure what that's going to be used for, but... Let's get only four on this wall, just for now. I'm still basically just killing time until the tannin's done. Anyway, I just thought that was interesting. We got our first productive result from our Lewis. We got one nugget of copper. And some more gems, which we can't really use. So as you can see, it's not really, it's not, f it's, it is, does give you free metal, but it's not super efficient. But then look at all the gravel I had to process. So it's, it's pretty good. It's still damn worth it. Uh, it's going to go mining, but let's get to take a nap first. I'm going to sleep at night. Come on now. Oh wait, before we go to sleep, let me scrape this off and put it in the next stage. Where's my scraper? Oh, how much did that use? Yeah, that's way down now. I need lots more lime water. Seal off. Don't push empty by accident. That would be terrible. There we go. Take a nap. Awesome. How's this doing? How's my tannin doing? And we have our leather. Heck yes. Prepared hide goes straight into the tannin. Oh yeah, so much leather. And now we get to craft some armor. Okay, so to craft armor, we get a similar interfa interface to when we are crafting our stone tools. So we grab that, and it's just like this. So first, I'm gonna make a chest plate. So we just take this off. There we go, leather tunic. Heck yeah, finally some armor in this game. All right, let me look up the other recipes. Okay, so that's our tunic. Let me get some pants where we just take out these ones. Yes. Did I drop my knife again? Yeah, I keep, tr I keep dropping my knife, don't I? Also, I realized I was wasting logs when I burnt off one log and let then let the fires go down overnight. Anyway, let me be careful. And so we need one, two, three for the hat. So we take off these two bottom rows. And then we take off the interior. Make sure not to click these too fast because if you double click, then it empties it all out. There's the hat. And the last piece. This one's a little bit funny shape, but we need to leave these two rolls full. 
and this one goes empty all the way down I think no may maybe not maybe there's a toe there yeah there's a bit of a toe Whew. almost wasted wasted that piece yes full leather armor fantastic Let's some victory meat and that's still going awesome leather working achieved there's no actual achievements in this <laughs> no actual achievements in this mod, but that's okay. No, yeah, we can't even like we can't even punch trees. <laughs> anyway, that feels good to get that done. I don't think there's too much else we can use leather for, but let's check it out in our craft guide mod. Oh yeah, the bellows. I can make the bellows now. That's fantastic. Item frame and books are just the vanilla things so as soon as these guys are done we can make a bellows we need that and you basically put it beside the campfire and you can use it to make your campfire hotter than it would normally be so something like tin you can make a camp you can smelt a campfire copper you might not be able to and regardless there's other uh, other things you might need to be able to so we still need leather to make some bellows so i'll just f i'll fill these up again and uh, yeah, we'll get back to you in a bit. Oh, I just remembered a trick to crafting this stuff. You can use the number keys actually to put this up here. So for example, if I put my stuff here, I can push, push one to bring the flux up, push two to bring the bucket up, and then my next bucket's on eight. Oop, that's not it. Is it, is it seven? Oh, I must hit nine, there we go. So a nice little shortcut for crafting, because so out, you know, dragging stuff up and back again. I mean, it's not hard, but it takes a few seconds, and I, I know Monheims gets tired when I start doing that for hours at a time. Here, here, I don't think you can hit three to bring it up, can I? Oh, I can hit three to bring it up. Awesome. So, I mean, it has to be on your bar. But if we go, you know, what is that? Not, it's nine at the end, right? Yeah, nine at the end. So if we go seven. Oh yeah, that'll save me some finger pains. Let's see how fast I can do this all at once. So we go one, we go nine. Oops, oops, that didn't work. Let's try that one more time. And then we move down one. So we go nine, eight, seven. Oh wait, I screwed it up. There's one more. Six. Well, I screwed it up, but anyway, it makes my hand a lot less tired doing it that way anyway. And it looks a lot cooler on the video when it, the bucket just appears up there. And I, when I see that people do this in the video, I'm like, what is that magic? Oh no, it's just, it's just that. Okay, we got our leather ready. We killed enough time. So I think we need some more wood though, don't we? Sometimes crafting works when you have, you know, mixed types of wood. Uh, other times it does not. Uh, this mod is seems inconsistent in that way. So like here I have two different types of wood, but it does actually work. So I can mix and match like that. Get rid of this lonely plank down here. We have the bellows. Like I said, we don't need that yet. And we can't even put it in here, but we will. We will. Alright, I think we might be out of time for this episode, but we had lots of fun. 